So, if you saw my last video, I think I might have been wrong about something. We spoke about the new 2022 Harley Davidson, new bikes coming out, some rumors. Um, Harley Davidson releases little, tiny little clip video showing little bits and pieces of uh, what is going to be their new bike or several new bikes. Um, and I overly looked over something very important. Um, so let's uh, roll the intro and we're gonna get into it and yeah. Yeah, I'm still here. It is the day after Christmas. It's the 26th. And I'm still in my Christmas PJs here. So, ho, 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 bitches. So, going back to my last video, we spoke about the new bike coming out for 2022. As I mentioned before, Harley Davidson releases a little clip, um, little bits and pieces of what could be or what is a new bike or several new bikes. Um, and then I, in that video, I went and I spoke about, um, you know, uh, how this could be. The new Lowrider S with an FXRC fairing, and that was a maybe, because it could also be a Rogue King. But then I saw a little bit of what looks like a Rogue Glide fairing as well. So it's a lot, a lot, a lot. Also the black and gold uh, paint, which kind of pushed me towards, hey, this could be the new Lowrider S. But I I really I had to stop. I woke up this morning, I'm like, wait a minute. Like, I think I was totally wrong about something. Um, once again, these are just my thoughts, my ideas. Um, this is not actual factual stuff. These are things that we're thinking is is gonna happen, right? What we think. Um, but I totally overlooked the Revolution engine, right? So obviously last year, well this year still, um, Harley Davidson introduced the new Revolution engine, which is on the Pan America, is also on the Sportster S, and then obviously new bikes to come. So that's the one thing that, that I noticed. And I'm like, all right, well, it's not gonna be the new Lowrider S. They're not gonna invest all this money on the same engine on the Milwaukee 8 that's on it right now. If that, they're just gonna keep building um, and developing new bikes, new motors, right? So let's stay with the Revolution engine right now, which is gonna be, I think, the main point for 2022. They got, I think they're gonna really work around that. I think they're gonna <clears throat> introduce that engine into, obviously, the new soft tails. They're gonna introduce it later on, probably onto the baggers. Um, and that, I think that's for certain, right? So there I'm thinking, all right, well, this cannot be my lowrider rest now with all these new little components on it. It has to be either like, let's say a street bop or let's say a new lowrider kind of frame, but with the revolution engine. Cause that's what I think it's gonna be at. Um, <clears throat> obviously we have the, with the sports that's coming out this year, we still haven't seen in actual life, the regular sportsters, because they spoke about having, hey, we're gonna be coming out with more affordable options, more sportsters that are gonna be more appealing to those people who like that classic sports to look. So that's a fact, that's, that's gonna be coming out. And obviously, I think that's gonna be part of the big launch in January. Um, so let's expect that. Um, cheaper sportsters on, well, the new Sportster S ish uh, with the Revolution engine. Um, that's a fact. Um, but let's go back to the whole uh, uh, FXRT fairing thing. Like, I think that's going to be a thing. And I think it's going to be a new redesigned FXRT fairing with the Revolution engine on maybe the soft tail frame, or maybe it's going to be a brand new frame. But um, I kind of, I don't know, I kind of want to scratch my whole idea of them in reintroducing my 2020 Lowrider S just with a new fairing like that just i don't know now it just kind of doesn't make sense but introducing that redesigned uh fairing on a brand new bike with a, obviously a brand new motor still that makes a bit more sense to me um now that's one component we spoke about the sportsters but i mean we can also still be talking about a bagger with a revolution engine are we too soon into that yet Ah, perhaps, yes. Uh, I'm thinking this might be for 2023. I think for 2022, they might be exploring, obviously, the new Sportsters, uh, mid-side cruisers, and then for the following year, they're probably gonna be working with these bikes, introducing that uh, that motor onto this platform. 
that to me kind of makes more sense. Like you guys can drop your thoughts down below. Let me know if you think I'm wrong. Let me know your thoughts. Um, with that being said, obviously we got the Pan America that came out this past year as well. Um, I'm pretty sure they're gonna be introducing uh, maybe like a cheaper version of the Pan Am as well, right? I mean that um, that Pan Am is marked and priced at a, I think at a fairly price when it goes to I guess the competition, but the competition also has cheaper options as well. So I think that's something that um, Harley Davidson needs to, if if they're gonna go proceed and and follow that that uh, the ADV market, then they gotta go full throttle and also offer a cheaper option as well. So we might be looking into that as well. Um, I mean the AD the the the, the Pan America bike is I mean like, the sales are doing great for it for the amount of units that it has because obviously units right now are very limited, but um, people are, are are huge fans of this bike. Uh, my buddy Sal he just got one. He traded his low rider ass in for for that Pan Am, which is crazy. So a lot of people are, are being attracted to that bike. And whether you're not gonna be, you know, going off road or whatever the fact may be, like people still want that bike. It's a, I, I, I've yet been on it. Um, hopefully I get on his, cause his I think has the, um, the adaptive suspension. So I can get on that and I won't be too short. Now, what I really wanna know from you guys is, do you think Harley Davidson is gonna keep focusing on the 114s and the 107s? Um, 117, whatever it could be, uh, going forward, or you think that they're gonna kind of divert from that, focus on the new Revolution engine, uh, plus more stuff to come. Um, so drop your thoughts down below. Um, and do you think that we could be expecting the Revolution engine this year on this bike right here, or do you think it's gonna be like a 2023? 2024 option type of thing. I have no idea. I, I really think it's gonna be for later on. I think they're gonna work with the mid-size cruisers first. But with that being said, take this with a grain of salt. These are only my thoughts, my ideas on what's gonna be happening. There's a lot of speculation, so all we can do is just sit back and wait for that date, which I'm gonna be posting up right here. It's gonna be within a month. So I'm definitely gonna be doing uh, another follow-up video to that. I'm also going to be wrapping up 2021 pretty soon with another video. Uh, so tune in for that. I'm doing some giveaway videos as well. So tune in for that and lots and lots of more content to come. Thank you for watching. I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Happy holidays. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy whatever you celebrate. Peace.